women, they get, they get upset, they get nervous. Like a minority or another race get, gets a little power. It makes them nervous because they scared that that race is going to do to them what they did to that race. They get nervous. So they start screaming, reverse racism. This is reverse racism. I'm like, wait a minute, in reverse racism, isn't that when a racist is nice to somebody else? Isn't that for other people? <laughs> That's reverse racism. Like, what you're afraid of is called karma. <laughs> Oh man, all kinds of comedy coming our way. The one and only Wanda Sykes on the BT Couch. Woo! Welcome to JFL Thank Northwest you. Comedy Festival here in Vancouver. And you know, we always get great comedy acts, but this is, you pointed this out, the first official festival where yeah. we're bringing in the big guns. Yeah, I'm very excited. I, I didn't realize it was the, you know, the first year of this, of the Northwest Festival. So uh, now it makes me nervous because if I stink, then that's it. <laughs> yeah. No more festival. That's not going to happen. That's, okay, it's not going to happen. It's Kicking not gonna happen. it all. Off. <laughs> it's going to be outstanding. Do you do you change up your shows when you go from place to place? Do you, when you're working through material, do you switch it up on the fly, or are you structured? I'm I'm pretty structured, yeah. Because you know, if I switch it up, that that means more work for me. <laughs> <laughs> I've just seen you so many I'm, times. I'm like right off the rack, you know. No, there's no tailored, oh, there's wow. no tailored show. No, um, I, of course I'll talk about you know being here in Canada and uh, a little bit about that. But uh, I'm working on an hour special, so it's it's pretty you know solid what I'm doing. Tight. Yeah. And when you work on a special, I mean, you got to gauge the audiences. What do you notice when you play in Canada? Maybe in Vancouver because we know you've been here before, mm -hmm. the main difference between a Canadian audience and the American audience when it comes to the reaction? Um, I would say you guys are a little more patient, you know, and uh, polite. Like, even if you're, you're not, you know, something doesn't knock you out on the floor laughing, you'll go, I see what you were trying to do. I, I get what you were trying to do. That was nice. That was so, oh, wow, you go. That was great. But, yeah, where Americans was like, come on, you know, and just loud and awful. I get a couple of Wanda Sykes fun facts, if you don't mind, uh, what people might not know, even though all of us are great fans. I didn't know until you were coming on the show that you actually graduated. Don't talk about my prostitution days. Okay, I'm going to keep that. I'll keep that. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, you want to talk about that? that? Let me think of something else. You want to talk about that? Oh, okay. Scared me. No, you graduated oh. from university with a bachelor in science. What were you going to yeah. be before you were going to be a comedian? It, it, it's a bachelor of science degree, but it's it's marketing. It's basically, yeah, I was a major in, yeah, it's marketing. And then so, you were like, okay, I got that in my back pocket. Now I'm gonna go. Yeah. Now I'll do. Yeah, I went and got a real job. Uh, I used to work for the government. I worked for uh, the National Security Agency. No way. Yeah, I did that. You know, top level clearance and all that. And I did that for several years. And from there, I said, I, I, I'm so bored. I know something else I'm supposed to be doing. And I, uh, you know, entered this talent show, and comedy was a category, got on stage, and everything just made sense from there. You know, when you get on stage and you get that big break, is this true that you got a big break opening for Chris Rock, Caroline's Comedy Club, back in the day, and that's when you got your first taste, and it all started happening from there? Yeah. I will say that, yeah, that, that's it. I opened for Chris, and then when he got his, uh, the HBO talk show, they asked me to submit some writing samples, and I did, and I got the gig. And from there, you know, just uh, working with, like, great people, you know, like Chris, and then uh, Louis C.K. was there. Yeah, so it was, yeah, we, uh, it, it was like our, our little lab, and I just learned so much. And from there, um, you know, then I got in front of the camera, and that's how I was known as the crazy lady from the Chris Rock show. Uh, <laughs> it is that crazy lady. So yeah. It's a good brand, but we know we talk about Chris Rock, Sunday, Oscars. If you are in that position right. as host, given all the controversy with diversity, what would you make as a comedian, the first statement right off the top of that show to set the tone? Uh, uh, boy, I love white people. <laughs> <laughs> and if Good black people him. get mad, I'd be like, what, what were you mad? You're not even supposed to be watching. Right. What, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> so I would just... White people are the best, aren't they? <laughs> that is gold. I mean, it's a lot of pressure when you're in the spotlight like this. Uh, when you look at a guy like Chris, what do you expect about writing and, and what he brings to the stage? Because he's very honest with the opinions, as you are with, with, with the comedy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he, I'm sure he's going to, you know, talk about what's happening in Hollywood and uh, he's going to be, yeah, he, he's, I'm sure he's going to let him have it. He's going to tell it like it is, which is something yeah. that you are famous for in terms of 
the LGBTQ community mm -hmm. and just putting it out there and just being like, yeah, this is what's happening, people. Right. And and it it's it was so fresh at the time. What was it, 2010, where it was really that that statement being made? What was that like for you? It was um, the wow, evolution was of? Yeah, I think I think it was two, was it 2008? Yeah, I think I got married. Yeah. Um, it was, you know, I, it was just, I, I just had to say it. It was my life, you know. I, I, I just got married, and now all of a sudden they're telling me I'm, I'm not married, like my marriage is not equal to, a, you know, everyone else's marriage. So, yeah, I, I had to I had to say something. So uh, And you folded it yeah, into yeah. your stand-up in yeah. a way that is so accessible, making it funny and making fun of it. Mm -hmm. As and That's what ties into what Riaz was saying about Chris Rock at the Oscars. Because right. you've got to find that that great equalizer yeah. in comedy, right? Right. And that's an art that you're so good at. Oh, well, thank you. That's not yeah. really a question. It's more of a statement. Okay. But I'm just but no, I, I get what you're saying, yeah. But I, I think uh, comedy is is a, a great way to get people talking. It's a, it's a great way to start a conversation. And if you can laugh at something, then it makes it easier to discuss it. So, yeah, so I, I know, sorry, you were talking about my, in my special, yeah, when I did the thing, it's easier to be uh, black than gay. Yeah, that, yeah. So, it, and it, then people were able to relate, like, wow, you know, that is, uh, she, she has a little point there. Maybe, a little yeah, a little point, mm -hmm. yeah. Well, there are yeah. plenty of points being made <laughs> on the political front. We know your feelings, and we've heard them, the sound bites about uh, the one and only Donald Trump winning in Nevada, by the way. Yeah. What scares you most about this at this point in 2016 about the future of politics in the states? What, what scares me the most is uh, how crazy. Americans have have gotten. There's just this segment that they don't. They don't. It's like facts and numbers mean nothing to them. <laughs> you know, it's like <laughs> you can show them a number and say, "What is that?" And it's, you know, it's a two, and they go, "Nah, that's a that's eleven. It's like no, it's it's a two. It's a what 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 is the problem? But it's yeah. So it's it's just uh, I, I I think just it's a lot of crazy angry white men. That's yeah. And I think the Republican Party should be disbanded. You just make them break up. Like, you know, you guys are now borderline uh, terrorist group. You, you need to break up because you're going to ruin the ro world. You're going to just, you know, Donald Trump becomes a president. I mean, people ask me, don't you have Donald Trump jokes? I'm like, no, because you, you can't do a joke on a joke. You know, it's, it's he's he's just the, the the worst, and it's scary. It is. I'm I'm checking out high rises here because uh, I might you know. We'll take. Yeah. You. Okay. Thank you. You can. I want to know if there's a form I need to fill out now. Yeah, we just or... come in here. We'll, we'll say yeah. We'll, okay. We have people. We can. All right. People. Okay. No, no worries on there. Uh, another flashpoint uh, at this point. You know, Kanye's broke. What do you think about the people that go on the big Twitter rants? You know, I have this rule that you know after so many drinks. <laughs> I, I lock my phone up or you know sometimes I have to just delete the app at all you right. know because it's like I this this can get ugly and I and uh yeah so I I try to you know put like you know, like a gun I try to put the safety <laughs> on my you put, gotta put, put, put it in a lock window. box yeah after put the drinks. safety yeah after <laughs> drinks I was like I'm about to say something real stupid you know so Lock it up. Lock that's it a, up. That's a good PSA, but you know, you're talking a lot about personal things in your show on stage tonight. Motherhood, I know, is a big part. Yes. How do you handle the idea of people coming up to you with, with the fame when your kids are around? How do you manage this so you, you have some sort of normalcy in your life? Well, I, I, I give people a look. You know, if I'm with my kids and, like, say, say if you're approaching me, whatever, and I'm like, I'm with my kids and I'm like, oh, I know where this is going, so <laughs> I'll, I'll do this. I give him a look. Right. That's like yeah, the back like, off mind your business. It's not now. Like, not now. Not now. Uh uh. No. And, and then they'll go and then back off. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, but you know, like in LA, it's, it's awful because we have the, you know, people, the paparazzi, paparazzi following. They don't bother me too much. You know, but um, that's because of the look. They're afraid I give them the of look, the look. I give them the look. Yeah. I give them the look. Um, but yeah, if, I, I, if I'm with them, I'll like walk away. And you know, which is kind of bad. You shouldn't leave your kids alone, right? That would be, but, yeah. No, no. I'll, I'll leave them with my, I'll leave with my wife, and I, yeah, right. and I try to walk away. Right. So, a little anonymity. Mm -hmm. Well, tonight's the show. Front and center. 7 p.m. Yeah. Community theater. We're gonna have an opener for this show, by the way. Yes, uh, Darcy Michael, local okay. guy. Yeah. I like that. The yeah. local twist on that. Yeah. TFLNorthwest.com. We're hearing there's a few tickets left, so if you want to see Wanda on stage, here's your chance. It's been a great festival of comedy. Wanda right. Sykes, thanks for.